Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of our Thousand Beaver Challenge, or as I like to call it, Watch Trees Grow So We Can Get Wood. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what we have to do at the moment. Um, we're doing okay for farming. We have loads of carrots. Ooh, there's a tree we can chop down here. Get that tree now. And can you get any trees? No, you can't. You may be able to in the near future. Water is flowing again. Um... We only have 10 logs though. This is not good. Uh, we could start our staircase up here, which is four planks a pop. We're going to need platforms. Okay, what do we need for that? Ah, oh, 100, fine. Um, I don't think we should be wasting wood on this just yet. It would be good to get the large water barrel first. Once we have the large water barrel. In fact, let's pause you in case they can get there as well. Once we have the large water barrel, we have a certain level of water security. Uh, right, let's wangle our road around here if we can. We can't, asshole trees. Alright, we're going to need to go back a couple there. A bit of a run up to get our stairs up. Mm. So, we can go one down, then two up. Or two up, then one down. It makes no difference, does it? Uh, this is going to be the most direct route, though, so we might as well do that. Uh. And there you go. That'll take us to here where we can take all these out. We probably want to go round and build a a floodgate there as well. Or even just here we could build a floodgate. Yeah, that's probably best. It will make it quicker. So if we have a floodgate there... In fact, we don't need it at the entrance. We could actually build the floodgate before. So yeah, and then we have the floodgate there. And then we can... Is it going to go this way, though? Oh yeah, it will go down here and around. Yeah, that's exactly the way we want it to go. Yep, fine. But wood. Woodity, woodity, wood, wood. Alright. You are superfluous to requirements. Off your trot. We can get rid of some roadage as well. Although, no, let's keep the road. We may go up there for some reason in the not too distant future. Um. Suppose if we get this one, we can actually start chopping all these trees down. Which will be a good thing. It's not going to give us a huge amount of trees, but it'll give us some trees. And... What do we actually need? Four planks. How many do we have? No planks. I thought we had more planks. Alright, let's get this going as well. we're doing this uh, yeah that's a long way off 30 planks 20 cogs that's that's nowhere near coming it can be though will you be able to get there we won't know until this is built and this won't be built until those planks are going we might as well just continue to make planks. The gears aren't so important. Well, they will be important. But yeah, we probably don't need to make the gears just yet. We should have some storage for them too. Uh, not sure where. 
Oh, brilliant. He's going there. We should probably have another one there as well. Let's get it as quickly as possible. We can't build it there because it will block everything off later. Okay, so let's hold on a bit. We have a drought on the way. I don't know how long for... Right, every now and then there seems to be a bit of water in there. Is that this overflowing? It could possibly be that. Yeah, and eventually we want floodgates here. And then when it's bad water, we just let it all sift past. And when it's good water again, we just put them back up. Okay. Um, do we have enough for barrels? Not really. Right, if we build a road... We can then build the next lumber guy. And then we won't need you there anymore. You'll be out of the way. Yep, we'll destroy that at some point. This guy can reach everywhere that's needed. I don't think there are any trees growing down here anymore. So we can clear the chop trees. Not that. Yeah, and we will take all the logs out of there. Nice. And let's tidy up this road as well. What are these, two a pot? No, one. kind of in two minds really about what I go for and I suppose it all depends on how quickly this is done um, I can save up for the water barrel that's not really going to happen is it I think maybe what I should do is just build another couple of lees now I'll add an extra 60 water taking us to 180 and how many beavers will that mm, give us so, 18 beavers, 20, 36 a, a day. A fucking 12 day drought already, wowzers. Um, maybe we should build two more of these as well. is still flowing for now. There you go, it's stopped. Doesn't flow over there, so it just flows down here and everything here should flow our way as well. Um, hmm. So, how much water can we store? 150. And we're using 36 a day. We probably got too many beavers. I'm going to pause another lodge. Um, shit. 36 a day to... Um, it's just over four days of water. It's not enough. We're going to be suffering from thirsty beaver syndrome relatively quickly. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Right, you're not doing anything. So we've got six unemployed beavers. Let's get the water out before it... Uh... We need about 360 to survive this drought. I suppose we are still pumping during the days. So it all depends on how much water we've got. Well, we've got this, essentially. It's going to be a tight one.
And we're out of wood. Um, we might as well build some of these. And then just pause them. So they are there and ready for when we need them. Um, let's get these stairs built. And let's cancel destroying this at the moment. That wouldn't be the end of the world. 179 days left. We haven't run dry yet, but we will do. Um, we've still got the three extra beavers we don't want. What we could also do is take this down one, and then pause another one and get rid of six beavers. So that would take us to 12 beavers, so 24 a day, and we might just make it. Let's hope some beavers die. If not, I may have to consider sending some off to their death. We'll see. We're okay for food, though. We've got carrots coming out of our ears. Right, you've run out of logs, but you have plenty of planks. I suppose everything here has probably got a plank now, it has. So it's just logs, really. How are we doing for the water? It's on its way out. We're probably more than halfway down. So 180, and we've got eight days left. Probably day seven we'll run out, and then there's another day or so until it comes. So seven, let's say eight days, 36 by eight is a job for the calculator at this time in the evening. So calculator, 36 by eight equals 288 water. Ugh, it's hit or miss, isn't it? Hit and or miss. We get there, though. Are we actually full? We are. We're full of water. Seven beavers waiting to do things with nothing to do. Um, six without beds can't really help you or don't really want to help you there beavers sorry well we might as well take this up not that we can build anything uh, 66% I think I did work out in a previous playthrough the percentages and how long it should take to be grown. But they seem to be off when I did it. Like something that should take five days or five days to grow was ready in like two days. Um, he should be grown and then this guy's done with. We don't need him there anymore. So this lead us to more trees? It does. Possibly worth pausing the lumber mill as well. I think we've got enough to do our stairs at least. Five beavers unemployed, four beds missing. 70%. Yeah, once we have the trees flowing, we can have both these open and running fully. And we can start building these and sorting this out. And in reality, this is only a tiny bit of water, but I suppose it's something we can control for the bad tide. What we could do is stick a water pump here, maybe another one afterwards as well. Maybe do a bit of dynamiting all the way around here, make it a much deeper pool. Dynamiting's a bit 
bar off as well. We need to go over here and then up here and around here. Hmm. 73. We're still getting water. Oh, these are almost done. That's good. We're still getting water though. 170. And we're using 30 water a day. So 10 days is 300. 5 days is 150. We should do it. Good. We should do it. It's possibly worth opening up another lodge in a couple of days' time. So we have beavers on the way. So we have people to chop trees when they're actually growing. Ideally at some point though, this will all become forest. Because this isn't enough. It's okay I suppose, but what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say roughly eight per row. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 8 by 15 and then by 8. The amount of wood. 15s, 120 by 8. 960 lumber roughly. That's not too bad, I suppose. That's more than we can store. I think this only stores 120, 180. It's in the wrong location, but I'm not going to move it just yet. When the bad tides start flowing, this is going to be uh, superfluous. So, oh, good. They're going up here. We got some lumber. That would have been a tree over here. So two left to go. And why are builders are not really doing much? Let's make sure we get rid of all these berry bushes. They're just going to grow and cause me a problem later on when I want to build something. These trees will stop growing though when that water runs out in our reservoir. Which is not yet. I'm happy about this. It's not bad, 10 days. Okay, it can go three times as long. We do need to up our water storage as much as possible and have more pumps and have this tamed, so to speak. And I suppose what we'd do is leave them at 0.5 so we'd have a bit of water stored here as well. And maybe we can build a big dam here. Have some pumps on top. Dunno, we'll see. Wood. Wood, 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 wood. There you go, it's run dry. That's going to stop growing, as will you. How long to your dead? 2.6 days. Yeah, fuck. One day. Yeah, you guys are all going to die. If this tree survives, I'll be surprised. Same for that one. So this is probably excessive now, or we don't need it anymore. Ooh, there's some logs up there we can cut, though. Look at those lovely logs we missed out on. And cut these logs. Thank you. And there's some around here too. Can we get there? We can. It's only one at a time, but one something, I suppose. One point five days, one point eight. It's not gonna make it. And how are we doing? One spare beaver. 
Zero spare beavers. We need to open one of these up. Probably two days till we have water flowing again. And you've pretty... Okay, there's a few over there as well that we're doing. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Not point eight days. Yeah, never gonna happen, is it? In fact, I'm so confident I'm gonna destroy you. And I think these ninety percent two to three days. This will start getting water soon again, two to three days. Not point four. How far away is the precious... Oh, fuck, it's got a long way to go around. It's probably a couple of days off. It's not even started the uh, helixing yet. Yeah, so another way I was thinking of doing... ...is finding a way to channel this out. Because when it's bad water, you just want the water going straight off the map. So I don't know how to do that. Maybe a system of dams, like uh, levees here, some dams here, more levees, more dams, more levees, more dams. Seems overly complex, though. We're running dry. We have two jobs unfulfilled. Right, we're going to pause you. That's one job. What have we got? You. Okay, you can be paused as well. That's zero jobs unfulfilled. And I think... Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow you can start cutting wood, my friend. Yeah, the job missing's in... No, it's not in there, is it? Ah, inventors. Not a problem. Right, let's get another water pump going as well. Let's get these water barrels filled. <clears throat> yeah, it's on the way. Oh, fuck. First bad tide as well. Let's get all these going then. We want to pump as much water as possible. Shit, this bad tide's not going to be good. Um, in fact, it's going to be very bad. As long as it doesn't last a long time. If it's just a few days, that'll work. If it's more than a few days, then we're properly fucked. Ugh. Come on. Ah, oh, right, okay. The trees are there. Me being me, I haven't set the uh, cutting area up. There you go, that will be sorted tomorrow. Beautiful. Um. You guys can be lowest. I'd rather have the this occupied. Um, have we got someone? No, we haven't. 
Okay, we're going to pause you for a little bit so we can have a... Yeah, good. Oh, now we need more beavers. We've got five on the way. We are making logs. Yeah, we can sort this out. Now this is going. And we can also sort out our water barrels too. I don't know what to do first. I think probably water barrels is the best way. So if we... Pause these steps. And then we get up there in a minute. So that's only going to give us a tiny bit of water anyway. Yeah, water barrels definitely the way forward. So we need to unpause the gear factory and we need someone in the gear factory. We want to unpause you as well. So we need six people and we potentially have six people on the way. Okay. Alright, water is done with these guys. There you go. Good. Two hundred and fifty five. Eighteen beavers, say twenty, so forty a day. It's about six days, roughly. We can survive without water. And in fact, even with the bad tide, we can still pump. It's just not as effective. So that's not the end of the world. You can be unpaused in a minute as well. Get those trees. Still then again, the bad tide's going to kill them. Seven days, yeah, fine. We've got this. Yeah, it's taking its while to swirl around as well. Look at it fucking killing everything as it goes. Most importantly, though, it's not going to affect our forest. I'm going to take you down to two, one. Okay, we can go back up now. We have some aged beavers, so it's... Yeah, okay, good. These are occupied, these are occupied. Brilliant. Look at it fucking poisoning everything. How long till these die? 13 days. Oh, they're going to live. Uh, should we get you going as well? Get those two trees that are left. And one. There you go, there comes the poison. Is it still pumping? It is, but look at the percentage, it's not moving. Alright, you're done. Logs we can gather in our own time. It's not the end of the world, that. Um. So it's affecting this farm a little bit, but that doesn't matter so much. It's not getting to our forest and it's not getting to uh, this farm, so... Yeah, we moved it off. We moved it off in plenty of time. Now it's just the water. Right, how are you looking? Oh, you're still getting some water. Just very slowly. Right, here's something stupid about to happen. Twenty gears and thirty planks, we can do that. We have enough.
How much energy does this windmill pro provide? 185. And we need a total of... 120, 170. Okay, so a second windmill would be a good idea, but we're not going to do that just yet. In fact, a second plank person would be a good idea too. Um, yeah. Look at that go. I should also build a plank storage and a cog storage or a gear storage. Maybe I'll do that over here. Just as a temporary thing. So this can be for planks. And then we need a warehouse for the gears. Um... Yeah. And we should build that second gear uh, plank place as well. Can't fit. We can fit in the water mill here. Um. Water mills aren't optimal. What we can also hopefully do is build one of these. And then if we pull in a power thing, that's not going to fucking connect, is it? Hmm. So we kind of need stairs over this one. But that would take us down to facing there, so we wouldn't be able to get there. Alright, we're going to think about you a little more. I could place it there, but I ideally want a second windmill. Most importantly though, this thing. second plank thing is needed though. Ah fuck it, they're cheap buildings, it doesn't matter where I build them. I'll build it there. A couple of these. Some roads. And then the power wheel. I didn't know we could double up. Oh, well, I did know we could double up. Like that. And then we do kind of want to connect them for power. So the way of doing that is complicated and I'm not going to do it just yet. It's possibly best to build a second windmill. Did you I suppose here? And then we can How's this work? Like that. And then like that. I think that connects them. make this the higher priority one so this gets built before these 
And then, okay, let's make this highest priority. And then this high. So they get built in order and beavers don't get trapped or things don't get built. And there you go, we want you high priority too. Good. Done. Yes, this is done. Huzzah. Yeah, pumping's going very spark. We're on 58. How long have we got left? One day. We're going to have some dry beaver soon. We are just going to squeeze in as many of these as possible. We need medical beds, injured beaver. There you go, bad tide ended, but it's going to be a while till we're pumping water normally. Probably a day or two even. Right, let's get you going too. And what's that leave here? We've still got two people. Let's make it up to four. We're going to unpause another one. Yeah, once we have enough water to survive 30 days or can store enough water to survive 30 days, then it's pretty much expand at your leisure. But until that point, it's backs against the walls on a regular basis. I mean, how's the clean water coming? It's not really, is it? We've got another day or two until it comes back. Yeah, we have thirsty beavers incoming. There you go, there's one already. And yeah, it's slowly working its way down. Got all this pool as well. Shit. So at least it's staying on this side, which is where my pumps are. Shit, no, shit. Are we gonna do it? How are our beavers looking? Thirst plus one, you're okay. How about you? We got a while, we've got till it goes right to the bottom, I think. I think. And, yeah, we're pumping water. Let's get all pumps going. Oh, shit. So these aren't spinning anymore. Where I've built this here, it's kind of stopped the spinach. Mm. So we need two more out there as well. Oh good, the windmill's almost done. And we've got some water coming in. How's it looking? It's looking a lot cleaner. Oh, fuck. It's another bad tide coming. Ugh.
Come on. Twenty one beavers, three hundred water. How many days is that? That's ten, fifteen days. If we can get this filled up, which we probably can a fair bit. They are pumping quite well at the moment. So if that's 15 days, then if we build this, that'll be 30 days. If we can get it full each time, which means lots of pumps ready to pump when the water flows well or when it flows good. So, yeah, I think we're close to being secure. Two beavers unemployed. That's just going to be research. Yeah, okay. This is irritating. It's probably actually worth building one here. We're not going to be able to get there without being able to build platforms. Oh, right, okay, we can't get there either. Asshole. Well, we can if we build one platform. And that's going to increase our power. Fuck it. That can just be on wind for now. Yeah, good. That's on wind too. Two eighty, two seventy. I think we're going to get close to our fifteen-day water supply. Yeah, if we build a road down, which would be the easiest one, a pathway, nine days, okay, we're fine. If we build a path down, we could build one, but then we get polluted by bad tide. And yeah, that will properly fuck us. Yeah, let's just finish this water barrel. Beautiful, 350, 360. Oh shit, it's not 20 water we need a day, it's 400, so we can do about 10 days. Because it's 2 water a day per beaver. Ugh. So we need 1,200 water to survive 30 days. Yeah, I think that's my priority now. 1,200 water. Once we got that, we'll be happy. Although we do have the couple of days where it's not polluted water. And we can still pump with relative ease. Come on you, get built. No power. And now the bad tide comes. Well, everything's full up, isn't it? So let's just have a couple going. Well, let's just have one going for now. See how you're doing. 
slow, very slow. Bit of a stammer there in the uh, processing. Don't know what's going on. So 400 and we need 40, 10 days. Yeah, perfect. We've done this one. And these guys aren't moving. Even with the bad tide, there should be a flow on the water wheel. Have they changed it so bad tide doesn't give water flow anymore? Be nice for fucking windmills we're going. Still, the good thing is when they're not working, they go and get resources. So as soon as the power comes, they can do stuff. I suppose, ideally, if we build a platform across, we can build water wheels everywhere. But we need the water barrels first. How are you doing? Slow. So, 1,600 is, so 40 a day, 10 days, 400, 30 days is 1,200, so 3, 6, so 4 of these we need. Our lovely trees, our little forest, and we have four spare beavers now as well. Okay, so the plan is four of those improve the power situation here somehow. And then we go and sort this out. So that's just a piddly little pool, it's not it's not our solution just yet. We do need to do some dynamiting there. Yeah. Good. Water. You. Empty. You. Empty. Let's get to work on our next one. Well, you might as well empty you guys out as well. Maybe we can work on both. No, these need planks. Yeah, we can. Let's work on both, eh? We do have to be quick building this, so... Because if it's a bad tide that comes afterwards, that could screw us up. That could kill all our crops over here. Maybe damage our forest a little bit too. So we'll set you at high priority. And then we have another one over there. In fact, we'll set you at highest, you at high, and then the other stuff can get built. Good. It's fucking power situation. Look, the water is flowing. Why is this wheel not spinning? Let's also line things up. Let's line this up for when it's There you go. That should be more than enough. Yeah, it's 65, and that does 50. So that would be 120. Okay, that would do that, but not that. Those water wheels are never going again, are they? Right, 
right, so 21 beaver. Well, we haven't even got 21. We've got four. Four beaver rune is needed. So in theory, 21 potential beavers. So that's 42. Three days is 120. It's going to be about five days till we actually get in water. So 200. Okay. And then we're going to open up all these pumps again, try and fill these barrels as quickly as possible. I suppose we could just have a diver somewhere at the end of the helix. Say so here. No, that wouldn't work really, would it? Maybe here? We dynamite down a bit. Say so there. We dynamite. No, that wouldn't work either. Maybe it would. No, it wouldn't. It's going to be a complicated one, because if you block the flow, it starts building up. Well, as long as these are all three or which they are. So, yeah, so we block the flow just here. Fill in some triple water gates. Dynamite down there, three, and pull in a triple water gate. And then it's a case of lifting those up, taking... Well, we have to do a few, actually. Otherwise, the water flow will be too quick. Um, building a few there. So you take those down when it's bad water. That goes out there. And put these up, so that stops it. And it just all pisses off the end here. Hmm. It's not too far away, actually. Or even around here. Do a little channel there. Because that's accessible. First we need metal. Then we can build some dynamite. 13 more gears. How about you? Some more planks. I don't know why this guy's even bothering. <laughs> You'll probably get one water for the rest of the time for how many days it takes. Right, normal water flow restored. When this starts pumping a bit faster, we unpause the other guys. And then we get the water going. Anyway, I think that's probably it for this episode. I don't know when I started. I'm either 10 minutes under an hour or 10 minutes over an hour. Um, thank you very much for watching. I will be back again soon with the next episode. Please like, comment and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll do one of my adverts at the beginning of the videos again. Anyway, thanks a lot. Be back again soon. Bye bye.